Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. My name is H2, and in today's Sunny Wednesday episode, I decided to make a cinematic B roll sequence with my first camera that I've ever owned. It's about five years old, and I've actually never used it for like about two years. So I'm really excited to check it out and see if it's even possible to make something that actually looks good. Okay, and this is the camera. This is the Telefunken TVC 550. My first camera that I've ever owned. I'm really excited actually because I've never checked out this camera or I've never actually turned it on for two years. So I just charged it up and it seems to be working perfectly fine. I'm actually just gonna go through the settings one more time, familiarize myself with it and then prep the set and then we can make ourselves a really cool looking cinematic beetle sequence okay so as you can see I had two memory cards on the table basically I can't remember exactly what was the limit of which the camera would basically uh, like not like have a memory card error so I have a normal 8 gig and I have a 32 gig so Let's check it out and see which one works. This one I think is the 32 gig. I'm sorry for the 32 gig. If it works 32 gig, I remember it could really take a high, uh, like a high gigabyte memory card. Just for some reason, it kept on uh, saying memory card error. I'm gonna try it with this here. This is 32 gig, by the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and boot it up and see if it actually works. I wonder if it does. Nope. So there's a card error, as you can see there, it's a card error, so we have to go down to the 8 and see if the 8 works, actually, no wait, this is, oh wait, <laughs> this is a 2 gigabyte, I thought this thing had an 8 gig in it, it's a freaking 2 gigabyte. Okay, so I actually confused this, um, this memory card was sitting in my camera since the day I bought it, and I confused it thinking that it was a 8 gigabyte card, actually it's a 2 gigabyte card. And what's so mind-blowing is a 2 gigabyte card gives me around 10 minutes recording time. 2 gigs. I think this thing can take up to 8 or 16 gigs, but for 2 gigs I'm getting 10 minutes of recording time. So that's quite insane. So if I have an 8 gig, that means I'll get around 40 minutes recording time. And what's really cool about this camera, it doesn't really run on a high processor or anything that really heats up a lot. So it doesn't really have a limit of which it overheats or anything like the skin camera that I'm using right now to record this video it has about 18 minutes recording time and then it has to uh and then it stops recording it cools off and then it can go again but this one never ever had that which was quite cool so um I guess we could use a 2 gig card I mean if I have to plug this into this camera right now I'll probably get like about 2 minutes maybe less and the thing will probably die, okay not 2 minutes, maybe about 5 minutes and it will probably just like completely be full but here I'm getting 10 minutes of recording time and that's in 1080 I'm shooting 1080 with this camera right now and I can get 10 minutes with a 2 gig card that is mind blowing anyways, I think we're ready, let's go ahead and bring in the lights set up the set of what I want to kind of record get the whole shot list going and let's record the cinematic video okay so I got my makeshift really uh, quickly kind of set right here so I have my light over there which is shining directly onto this whole set I use my uh, mouse pad thingy as like a background and I'm gonna set the camera just like this with a um, tripod because I know for a fact that this camera one of the worst things that it had was not really good any or really no good image stabilization and does have a setting we can say image stabilizer no is but uh it's not really good the basically the footage is not smooth enough for it to be able to be handled so it's a bit kind of jittery if you go really to details and stuff but i think it will be good okay so i have sort of like in mind of what I want to really go with so I have the shots that I'm planning on doing 
it's just a matter of now kind of actually executing it so let's just go for it now I want to get like this product shot like a product photography shot of one of the photography product uh, video shot like about a 10 15 second video and my idea here is capturing all the details on the whole camera so like getting all the details of all of the writing and on this little dash cam and then um, having the final shot like it's a reveal with the name of the company that makes the dash cam that's my plan that I'm trying to go with I'm not going to go with too many trans like in camera transitions I'm going to go with basic transitions more of hard cuts because it's like this like really cool like immersive experience I'm going to go with more hard cuts I don't want to have it like too fast paced I want it to be this really cool slow pace with a few hard cuts and then at the end the zoom out shot now I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that in a, like, in a second because I don't have a slider I'm going to do everything on the slide button I'm going to show you guys that in a second but I want to go ahead and get all of the main shots that I wanted to first so I'm just going to bring the camera a little bit closer now one thing that this camera doesn't have that is quite bad or like just doesn't look good is the uh, is the really horrifying um, settings it feels like you're going back in time when you're using the settings on this thing now I have to just play around with settings it just wow <laughs> feels like I'm going back like way back in time so once I've changed to Canon's like interface it's very different also another thing is if because this thing has a microphone jack so if you do sort of pull the leg around it and give your microphone close to it I suggest you don't change settings while you're recording because listen to this let me just take the camera off here if I just change the setting just listen to this that's what you're gonna be hearing every time you change the setting and it's gonna be picking up in your microphone so I'm gonna go ahead, uh, play around the settings, just kind of get it, I guess, simple. Okay, so I just closed the blinds and it seems to be doing way better. Like, I'm actually starting to see some, uh, actually, the exposures to eye. It so, takes so long just to change settings because of all of the, uh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna start with my first shot. Now, the first shot I wanna kind of do is just a simple pen. Like something like that. So we loosen this part. And kind of just like paint it coming into like uh, a right way, so like a side, like this direction. So like coming to my right. And then I want to move on to the close up of like the bottom, like facing up. So that's my next shot. So I just do the, the spin on the start from, from here. Okay, and okay, that should be good. Now, the next shot, actually, I'm going to have to lower the tripod legs right now because I want the camera just to tip on the table, a little bit on the table, and then look up at the camera. So that's my next shot. So we can just go ahead, drop the tripod legs slightly, I guess. I would say it's just about there. And it should be good. Um, what's really nice about this is I have so much manual keep actually because with the uh, top part of the tripod so just drop these legs a bit I should be good okay. if you guys want to stay tuned for the actual final uh, video I will leave that at the end of the video so stay tuned for that that's gonna be quite cool okay so now I'm getting like this like really kind of like, like it makes the product look so much more cooler than it actually is so like that's what I'm trying to go with right now I'm just gonna tighten this a bit an idea here is to just do something simple so like maybe starting off here and then moving it in like that so that that might look cool so let's just drop it slightly tighten that and then do a slight pin simple now I noticing that I'm getting some of that like the out of frame here where it's kind of shiny past the background, so I'm going to do one more take this looks so horrible ah, this just doesn't look good at all <laughs> I expected way more out of this camera and I don't think I should have done that because it's not a good camera it's a ok so, starting off from here we could just move it then and it's simple it's Okay, there we go. That should be good. It's not really the best camera 
freaking it's just horrible <laughs> I'm actually just I this now I want to get some of the details so it says here 1080p full HD and then the, the lighting in it on here so I want to get that in there a bit better so it is upside down so we might it doesn't matter actually let's just, let's just go for it okay so I just I just oh so we're getting the details in okay you know what that that's gonna be a scrap shot so let's just uh let's get the back the back part of it because we never actually got the got in the back part of it what <laughs> okay for well, this back one uh the back part was quite important but there's nothing really on it so that might be one of the most useless shots i'm gonna get but it's really cool to just play around with some shots and then in the editing room we have more obviously uh, and it's gonna give too many reflections so that's not gonna be good uh let's try getting something simple it's just like a side shot like with it with just sitting in like on the side that might be a cool little shot on its own so let's do that just something like simple and maybe like a pay and up like that so we're starting off low so if i'm gonna start off low i can go a little bit low something like that let's say it looks good and then if we go up slightly so we just have to lock our pen build and then just move ourselves to up like that that might look cool okay so let's hit record okay and pin up slowly i'm not shooting slow more because the camera can't shoot slow more so that's a problem <laughs> but i guess we just have to do with it so i'm gonna go ahead and try and get a detail shot i know this is not gonna look good and I probably will scrap the shot because it has a fixed focus and the product is quite close to the screen so it's gonna be out of focus a bit. But let's just give it a go. Um I'm gonna try and do a something where I move as like I paint up and to the side at the same time. So that that might just be a complex shot. Let's just try this. Okay. Honestly you know what? Forget the quality. Let's just let's try and make a really cool product shot right like here. That let's just imagine that this is all we had and this is what we had to use to make money. Let's just imagine like that, right? I don't care right now anymore about any of the fancy quality shots that I normally get. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it right now. Let's get so uh let's move this slightly more back I guess. And go to the right. Let's line it up to the center actually. Perfect, okay, so we can just lock this. I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I've learned. And that is to get a slider shot, but basically, you keep your tripod legs, like, horizontally, like, in, like, just in line with, like, the straight, like, in a straight line, and of the prop. In this case, it's the little camera manager, and we keep it straight, right? We're going to lock our pin, but we're going to, our tilt axis going to be loose and I'll explain that in a second. I actually that use a lot of time so at the same time we're gonna tilt our legs our two front legs forward and we're going to uh and we're going to move this as it's going forward we're gonna try and level this out like a gimbal basically so make sure this is straight make sure it's in, fr in frame and then I'm gonna hit record and then we can move it in Now I want to get the first shot of this, so I'm going to start off really close and then we're going to do it this part backwards. I could just reverse that shot, but this looks perfect. It looks perfect. This is what I wanted. Amazing for the shot. It looks really cool. Okay. I would say that would be it, but um, if you wanted to get maybe just one more shot, I would say. Just let's get this little guy from here and then maybe just like something simple. This is one more, this is like shot throwing there if we need a backup shot because it might just be too short this video. So if we just go ahead like our uh, and then just do a simple pin. I'm just gonna go to simple pin starting from our right and move to the left. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so I just finished editing the video. But before I go ahead and show you guys the final project, I just want you guys to remember that this was 
in a dark room so there was really a lot a lot, a lot of light and I'm starting to realize that in low light this camera is terrible I mean it's kind of expected but if you want to see me do a video where I take it outdoors obviously right now I can't because of the whole pandemic but afterwards I actually kind of motivated to take this thing outside and do a better test where there's a lot of sun and just try it like that but here's the video Trust me, it just looks terrible right now because of all of the grain and all of that, but I still edited it for you guys, so hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like for funny challenges and stuff like this that I do once in a while. My name is H2, I'm going to see you guys in another video. Peace. Thank you.